Hello students of class 9th chemistry. We are going to complete the chapter 2, the remaining pages, page 6 to 11 of the textbook. The points covered here are chemical equations, balancing of chemical equation, atomic weight, that is relative atomic weight, calculation of molecular weight, calculation of percentage composition of a compound. Firstly, I will start my discussion with the calculation, with the uh, chemical equation. Chem chemical equation is the representation of the chemical change taking place with the help of symbols and formulae. In the chemical equation, we write the reactants in the left hand side and write the product in the right hand side. Here, in this reaction, which I have written, Fe plus S, iron plus sulfur, all the reactants and the FES is the product. A chemical equation has to be balanced. A chemical equation has to be balanced to comply with the law of conservation of matter. To balance the chemical equation, many methods are there, but the method which is most common is called trial and error method or some of the people call it hit and trial met ma method also. For this uh, balancing of chemical equation, I'm going to use one equation. Please look carefully. If you listen carefully, look carefully, I guarantee you will become master of balancing the chemical equation. The equation we are going to balance is Children here, the equation is K2Cr2O7, K2Cr2O7 plus HCl giving you KCl plus CrCl3 plus H2O plus Cl2. To balance this, we compare the reactant side to the product side individually for each atom. Firstly, we check with the potassium atom. Here, two potassium atom. By multiplying here by two, we balance the potassium atom. Then the chromium atom. Here two chromium atoms are there. Here only one. We multiply here also by two. The chromium is also balanced. Then oxygen. Seven oxygen atoms. If we multiply this O here in the H2O by seven, we get seven oxygen atoms. Then comes the hydrogen. Here hydrogen is one, but now here hydrogen has become 14. So here, here when we multiply, we get 14 hydrogen. Now till hydrogen we have balanced, only chlorine is left. We count 14 chlorine here, here available, 2 plus 6, 8, 8 chlorine are here. If we get 6 more, to make this 6, we multiply this by 3 and we get the chlorine also balanced. Now check here, 2 potassium, 2 potassium, 2 chromium, 2 chromium, 7 oxygen, 7 oxygen, 7 to the 14 hydrogen, 14 hydrogen. 14 chlorine, 2 chlorine plus 6, 8 chlorine plus 6, 14 chlorine. So the equation can easily be balanced. Purposefully, I have taken a big equation to balance. For the smaller equation, work is even simpler. Like here, CH4 plus O2 giving you CO2 plus H2O. Now to balance this, when we start, we find carbon is already balanced with the hydrogen. Here 4 hydrogen, here only 2 hydrogen. That is why multiplying this by 2, we make it 4. Now the hydrogen is balanced, but we find the oxygen 2 plus 2, 4 in the reactant side is not balanced with the, in the product side is not balanced with the reactant side. In the reactant side, we multiply by 2 and the equation is balanced. So, uh, students, this is a very good method of balancing. Go systematically, element wise in a, in a, in a sequence, you will be able to balance each and every chemical equation. After the balancing the chemical equation, the atomic weight. Children, the atom is a very, very small commodity. Due to which its weight is very, very small and we cannot take the weight on any scale. So we take the relative atomic mass. We take the mass of the hydrogen atom as, as one and compare it with the uh, other element's mass. Or we can take carbon as 12 and compare it to 1 by 12 of carbon atom mass and 
In that way, we can get the relative atomic mass or rel relative atomic weight. However, here, my, direct, my, 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 my target today is to, how to talk about how to calculate the molecular weight. Students' calculation of molecular weight is very, very easy. Only thing again, you have to be systematic. Like here, you are going to find the molecular weight of calcium carbonate CaCO3. You require the data. Data will always be provided to you. Calcium 40, carbon 12 and oxygen 16. So in this way, when we are going to find out the molecular weight of calcium carbonate, we take the one atom of calcium, one atom of carbon, and three atoms of oxygen. Make sure above O you have put the uh, commas carefully, uh, otherwise you will read it as zero. So here yeah, one calcium 40, one carbon 12, and three oxygen 16 threes are 48. Always add carefully and you will get it to be 100. So in this way we can calculate the molecular weights. Children so here if you have anything in the bracket, <coughs> <coughs> multiplied by a number outside we calculate everything inside and then multiply by outside number I am demonstrating one more look carefully like if you have to find out the molecular weight of NH4 whole twice SO4 ammonium sulfate to find this molecular weight we calculate this bracket full together 14 plus 4 nitrogen 14 and Hydrogen 1, Sulfur 32 and Oxygen 16. So according to the data given, Nitrogen 14 plus Hydrogen 1, 4 is 4. Then multiplied by 2. Plus Sulfur 32 plus Oxygen 16, 4 is 64. 14 plus 4 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 36. Plus 32 plus 64. If you check it, always write it in this way. 36, 32, 64, and then add 6 to 8, 4, 12, 3 plus 1, 4, 3, 7, 6, 30. So it comes out to be 132. So in this way, we are able to calculate the molecular weight even when some digits, some elements are in bracket and multiplied by a number. You have to be careful. Then here, after calculation of the molecular weight, the percent is composition, the last topic here. Percent is composition of a compound. Suppose you have a compound. Let us take magnesium nitrate, Mg3 and 2 and you have to find the percentage of magnesium and nitrogen here. To do this we require of course firstly the molecular weights and we calculate the molecular weight. The molecular weight is 3 magnesium plus 2 nitrogen. Giving you 24 3 is 72, 14 2 is 28, adding this 100. Purposefully, I have taken magnesium nitrite, whose total molecular weight is 100, so that calculation is easy. So, percentage of magnesium. Here you have to be careful. Your, the total weight of magnesium is 72. So, of course, you will take 72 upon 100 and then multiply by 100, you will get the 72%. In the same way, you can get the percentage of nitrogen also, 28%. Children, in the today's class, we talked about the chemical equation, balancing the chemical equation, to find the, talked about the relative atomic mass, then molecular weight calculation on the percentage composition calculation in front of you as we discussed. With this, uh, we are concluding the chapter 2. You can do the, all the exercises uh, given in the chapter and with this, if you have any doubts, you can message me and please subscribe to, uh, play, please subscribe, uh, you can message me uh, at my telegram ID. Please subscribe to my channel for coming up videos. With this, many thanks. Have a very, very good chemistry.